consider the closed intervals a1, a2, a3 and so on with the property that a1 is a superset of a2 which is a superset of a3 and so on. Then the infinite intersection of all of those closed intervals is non-empty. This is called the nested interval property. In this video we will prove this property. So we have to prove this statement. Assume for each n we are given a closed interval a n with the property that a n plus 1 is a subset of a n. Then the infinite intersection of all of those intervals is non-empty. Now before we prove that statement consider this picture. Here you can see that all the ans are less than bns. So if we define the set a to be the set of all ans and the set b to be the set of all bns, we will have that any element in the set b serves as an upper bound for the set a. We will use this fact in our proof, so let's begin. We will start by defining k to be the set of all ans. Then bn is an upper bound for k for every natural number n. Which means that the supremum of k exists by the axiom of completeness. Which means that x is greater than or equal to a n and is less than or equal to upper bounds b n for every natural number n. Which means that x is in the interval a n b n for every natural number n. Which means that x is in the infinite intersection of the intervals a n b n. Therefore the infinite intersection is non-empty. 